This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 4th of June. I'm James Spann. Looks like another batch of strong storms to deal with tonight. Let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. Things are quiet now as the morning storms are long gone. That's coming from Gadsden. Still got some lingering clouds there, but uh, no rain. Look at the Clanton Skycam. Got some sunshine down in Peach Country in Chilton County on this early June afternoon. And hey, you know, we got to check out that Gulf Shore Skycam. Weather down there looks fine today. Lots of sun, a huge crowd on the Gulf Coast. And uh, if you're headed down that way, there will be a few scattered storms through midweek, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. But then the weather down there looks pretty good Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a lot of sun and only isolated showers this weekend. Here's our big picture. We've got a very high amplitude pattern trough just off the Pacific coast, troughing over the northeast and a ridge in between. And uh, riding down that northwesterly flow, we've got a pretty well-defined uh, MCV that is over uh, Arkansas. That is a mesoscale convective vortex. And you see the twist in the clouds there, and that thing is uh, moving southeast and will inevitably kick up some pretty decent storms here. Uh, there's a look at the storms involved in that now near Little Rock. And down by, in the SBC guys are indicating they'll probably put up a, a severe thunderstorm watch ahead of the MCV over parts of south and east Arkansas for this afternoon. And then that stuff rolls southeast, ultimately Mississippi and Alabama, you know, the track and a northwest flow aloft. So we'll be watching radars to the uh, north and west. Still no change in the convective outlook. We've got the standard slight risk for a pretty good chunk of Alabama for the rest of today. And mainly that's for tonight for this uh, next batch of storms coming through. And like the storms we've seen over the past 24 hours, no tornado threat. Uh, but we could see some storms with hail and strong winds, maybe enough to knock down trees and power lines. Then tomorrow, the risk moves to the south and east. Uh, Dothan is involved in that, Abbeville, Ozark, and then over toward Jacksonville and Savannah. Rain for the next five days. Hey, we'll take all of this. This is good. Getting some good uh, early summer rain. Uh, an additional uh, inch is likely tonight. Maybe more in spots, depending on the you know where the stronger storms set up. But after tomorrow, things look pretty dry for a while. Tropical weather, not much happening. In fact, nothing. Uh, no tropical storm formation is expected this week. We'll check the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is a computer model, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. High amplitude, big trough in the west, upper low, east of Maine, ridging in between. And we've still got a well-defined northwest flow aloft, and you can see that we've still got a pretty good uh, moisture axis over us tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, it could be very similar to last night and today. It, it could be, you know, the storms blow through in the middle of the night, and then kind of in tomorrow morning, and the air is stable, and as a surface cold front comes through tomorrow, it just won't do much. So uh, certainly a good chance of storms tonight, early tomorrow morning. Beyond that, the redevelopment is kind of questionable tomorrow afternoon. We might get away with nothing. We'll probably mention some risk of maybe scattered storms tomorrow afternoon. But then Wednesday, we should be in dry air. Highs mid to upper 80s. Looks uh, dry for the northern half of the state. Convection should be confined way down south. Thursday, pretty much the same deal. Highs in the upper 80s. No change on Friday. Humidity values not too bad. And Saturday as we start the weekend. Winds aloft are light and variable. Big trough in the northwest. And down below that, uh, the, the model tries to kind of creep moisture levels back up, which might lead us to mention, you know, isolated showers on Saturday. But until we see better evidence or, or forcing we're not going to mention that. Just kind of a partly sunny and hot day. Thickness values come up, so the high should be around 90. And uh, pretty much the same thing on Sunday. Close to 90, partly sunny. Chance of a shower, very small. And even Monday of next week looks kind of dry. The uh, uh, moisture is feeding up on the periphery of the Bermuda High uh, through parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Check the end of the forecast, June 20th. And I'm watching that 588 uh, warm air bubble over the Atlantic coast. We are on the western flank of that thing. Got a mid-latitude trough coming down through the central plains. And down below that, as you expect in summer, the deeper or more organized storms would be up north and around here. We'll have a few you know, summer storms, but they should be pretty scattered. We see nothing out of the ordinary here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream 
or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.